All right, today we're going to be countering something that we are all guilty of, sitting too much. Where's the line here? Uh, how much sitting is detrimental to our health? How can we counter all of the sitting that we do? Well, there's a few things. The first thing that you can do is make sure that you get up regularly. The most detrimental issue with sitting for long periods of time is exactly that, sitting for long periods of time. If you are getting up and allowing the blood flow to start going through the body again, activating your muscles, allowing the limbs to drain, you're not causing as many problems in the body. And these problems are very, very severe um, and they can have very, very bad consequences. So I do encourage you to move often. This is actually something that you could do multiple times throughout the day. That's why it's only 10 minutes, really quick um, and you'll kind of just get a feel for some of the movements you don't have to copy it exactly um, you know and maybe you can just take some notes from some of the things that we do in this 10 minute practice and while you're working in the day get up when you go to the bathroom pop on your mat do a few of the moves that we do today um, and these are really really uh, aimed at improving uh, the lymph drainage activating your muscles and also getting that blood flow going. So that is how you can counter a sedentary lifestyle. We all are guilty, we all work. Uh, don't feel bad about it, but just make sure that you're moving regularly throughout the day, every single day. If you can stand sometimes while you work too, that is great. Uh, but yeah, just making sure that you don't end up sitting for three or four hours at a time and you haven't got up at all. So let's get started in child's pose. This is a great thing to always come to if you're feeling like you've been sitting for a long period of time. Open your knees out nice and wide, big toes to touch, and then really send your chest towards the floor as you drag your hands out in front of you. So we can open up the shoulders a little bit, get that extension in the back happening as well, and open up the hips. There's a lot of stagnation that happens in these areas, specifically when we're sitting for long periods of time. So draw your chest down towards the floor, deep inhale through the nose. And then as you exhale, float your chest closer to the ground. Now you can rest your forehead on the mat. I'm just uh, making sure that my microphone doesn't get too loud. Another deep breath in. Big exhale. Nice deep breaths are also great for improving the blood flow, getting that circulation going. Inhale again. Exhale, melt to the ground. Inhale, walk your hands over to the right. So deep side body stretch along the left side body. You wanna feel it really, really nicely from your pinky all the way down to your hip. Deep breath here. And then exhale, melt your chest to the floor. Inhale, slide your right hand underneath your right shoulder and then push your right hand into the ground as you twist over towards the right. Now we're in a deep, deep stretch in that left shoulder, opening up that area. A lot of lymphatic drainage can happen here as well. Inhale. Exhale, close. <sighs> Inhale, walk your hands over to the left, deep side body stretch along the right side body. <sighs> really push your hips into your heels as well. So if you're feeling yourself kind of lifting up a little bit, it's okay if you're lifted, but see if you can just push yourself back, opening up the hips here. Inhale, slide your left hand underneath your left shoulder and then twist over towards the left. Inhale. Exhale, close, walk your hands back to center, draw your chest down towards the mat one more time. And then slowly rise all the way up, we're coming into cat cow. I know that cat cow is a very common movement, you'll do it in most uh, yoga classes and all that, but it really is probably the most important movement that you can do for your body, especially if you're sitting for long periods of time. So let's create a nice solid foundation, wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, nice long line from the top of your head to your tailbone. Inhale, draw your belly button down as you send your gaze out in front of you. We are in cow. And then as you exhale, send your belly button up towards the sky as you tuck in your pelvis, tuck in the chin, push your shoulder blades away from one another. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Lots of circulation happening right now as we take those deep breaths and link them to our movement. Keep going at your own pace. Let it feel good. Lubricate the spine all the way from the neck down to the tailbone. Helps promote healing. Now, 
on your next inhale, I want you to send your hips all the way back towards your heels. And then as you exhale, tuck in the pelvis and round, pushing the back of your ribs all the way up to the sky. As you ripple forward, going as far as you'd like, inhale, arch, send your tailbone back towards your heels. And then exhale, round, come forward. Now, if you want to come all the way into Swan, feel free to do so. Push the floor away and then tuck in your tailbone as you lift up. Send your tailbone back. Exhale, round, come forward. Don't push past your limits right now. What is in your practice today? I want, to, I want this practice to feel good for you. I don't want you to really push yourself right now. When we're focusing on just getting movement in, it doesn't need to be crazy. It doesn't need to be hard. We just want it to feel nice. And we want the circulation to be optimal. Last two. And one. Meet on our bellies. And then bring your hands out on either side of you. So they're just gonna be on the outsides of the mat. Spread your fingertips out nice and wide and kind of dome your hands. Inhale, lift through the spine so the neck is nice and long. And then as you exhale, gently float down, rest your forehead on the mat. Inhale, lift ever so slightly. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to lift. Exhale down, we're doing baby seal. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Now option to push all the way up into full seal. Inhale, lift all the way, straightening the elbows. Tuck in that pelvis so you're not putting too much pressure on your low back. And then float down. Inhale, lift, extend. Exhale, float down. Inhale, lift, extend. Exhale, float down. Inhale, lift, extend, and stay in the extension. Send your left shoulder down towards the ground. We're twisting over to the right. And then lift back up, come back to center. Exhale, right shoulder coming down, twisting to the left, and then lift back up. Exhale, tap left down. Inhale, up. Exhale, right down. Inhale, up. Two more on both sides. This can be as small or as big as you like. Doesn't need to be crazy. We're just creating extension and a twist. Helping lubricate the spine a little bit further. Really is the foundation of our movement. Let's come all the way back down. And this time I want you to slide your hands underneath you. Your elbows are now gonna be in line with your shoulders. We are in Sphinx pose. Inhale, nice long line from the top of your head all the way down your back. So really pushing the shoulder blades down into the ground. Your elbows are going down into the earth. Inhale here. And then exhale, lift a little more. Now shift your weight over to your left hand as you kick your right heel to your booty and then reach back for your leg. You don't have to reach it. Um, if you aren't touching your leg quite yet, just reach back for it as far as you can go. If you can grab it, can you pull your heel towards your bum? Keep breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Last breath. And then let it go. Drop that foot back down. Inhale, nice long line. And then exhale, lift it a little bit more. Push the elbows into the ground. Inhale, shift your weight over to your right arm as you kick your left heel to your booty and start to reach back for that quad. Stretch, deep breath in. Exhale, pull your foot towards you or just kick your heel to your booty as much as you can. Inhale, exhale. Keep pushing that right elbow into the ground. Inhale and exhale and then let it go. And then from here, I want you to create a pillow with your hands, send your elbows out nice and wide, and then rest your forehead on top of your hands. Now I'm gonna lift my forehead just a little so that my mic doesn't get too loud. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, melt to the ground. Now, inhale, kick your right heel to your booty, and then lift your right leg up and over. And can you tap 
the ground on the other side. So with your toes, you're tapping the ground on the other side of the left leg. And then unwind, come back to center. Inhale, lift and kick your left foot to your, uh, to your booty. And then lift that leg up, tap the ground on the other side. Now you are resting your forehead on the mat here. Don't copy me in that. Right heel to booty, lift it up and over tap. Left heel to booty, up and over tap. Right heel booty, last one on both sides. Left heel booty. Now, come back to center, kick your right heel to booty, lift your leg up and over, and then push all the way up. We're coming into mermaid. So you're creating a 45 90 with your legs. So the front leg is in a 45, back leg is in a 90. If that didn't make sense to you and you kind of ended up in a, in a confused position, don't worry, it takes practice, but it's just a little fun transition. So we've come all the way up, place your right hand on top of your right leg, lift your left arm up and over, and then we're gonna fold over towards the right leg. Lift all the way back up, we're coming back onto our stomachs. Now kick left heel to booty, lift your leg up and over and push yourself up. Come into that position again, this is mermaid. Left hand on top of the left leg, reach your arm up and over, side bend over towards the left leg, lift all the way back up, back onto the stomach. One more time, both sides. Heel to booty, push up, mermaid, fold over towards the right leg, lift up, and then come back down to your stomach. Heel to booty, lift all the way up, grab your left leg, fold over and lift, and then back to your stomach. Beautiful job, deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, tuck your toes, push all the way up to plank, and then push back down to facing dog. Pedal out your feet here. Hold your one heel down and then the other. Let it feel good, let it feel nice. Inhale again. And then exhale, draw your chest to your knees. <sighs> Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Hug your right knee into your chest. As you step your foot through, we're coming straight into high lunge. If you lose your balance here, don't worry. Just need to do some adjusting here. Um, I'm gonna step a little bit back so I'm in frame. Reach your arms all the way up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper, both knees are bent. Now, inhale, open up, warrior two, sorry that my back is facing you. Sink deep into that right leg, push that knee out, reaching both your arms out on either side of you. Inhale, flip your right palm, reverse your warrior. And then come all the way back up. Um, I'm gonna face you quickly. So we're still in warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Reach your fingertips forward towards your right toes and then we're gonna come into triangle pose. You can bend this bottom knee if you need to. You can also stay all the way up here if you'd like. You don't have to come all the way down. Do what is in your practice today. I want it to feel good. Deep breath in. And then exhale, stay where you are. Bring your left hand down. We're coming into easy twist. Reach your right arm all the way up to the sky. Bring your right hand back down, plank. Push back, downward facing dog, let's do the other side. Inhale, exhale, draw your chest to your knees. <sighs> Inhale, look to the top, hug your left knee into the chest, step it through, high lunge. Let me step into frame. Arms up, inhale, exhale, sink. <sighs> Tuck that pelvis in so you can feel a nice stretch in the front of that hip. Open up, warrior two, sink deep into that left knee, knee going out, not coming in, push it out. Reach your fingertips on either side. Inhale, flip your palm reverse. Open all the way back up. Straighten that left leg. Tip over towards your toes and then find triangle. Your version. No pressure. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. As you exhale, plant that right hand down. Lift the left arm all the way up to the sky. Plant the left hand back down. Push back into plank. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the knees down. Push back. Child's pose. Notice how you feel. Float all the way back up. And that's it. 
nice quick movement. You should feel good. You should feel warm. You should feel a little bit lubricated. Everything feels nice and loose. Uh, just an amazing thing to welcome into your day when you are working all day. If you work in an office, I totally understand. Still just get up frequently throughout the day. Do this in the morning, in the evening. Just get it in and I promise you, you will feel amazing, amazing results. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me. I'll see you in the next one.